Yay, welcome to Love Vibe TV. I'm your hostess, Reverend Lunch Lady. I'm so glad you're here. I am here to support you in another conversation about how we can create more in our life. And today, I'm asking a question. What are you fighting for and what are you fighting against? Are you fighting against yourself? Are you going into, oh, here's all the reasons why I can't have this or do this. So that's what I want to bring to you today because when we are aware of doing this, we actually have the choice to do something different. And I know I've had many times where I'm having a conversation with someone and there's like a looping of this, no, really, I can't. No, really, I can't. No, really, I can't. No, really, I can't. Well, this is why I can't. And and I want to tell you that um, I'm guessing that those can'ts feel pretty heavy and crappy, which means they're not actually for you. They're not aligned with you. They're not true for you. So let's go into this. And if you haven't been to my channel before, I am a love and relationship expert for singles. I also am a teacher of consciousness and a creator and a traveler and a lot of different things, a pet lover. Um, and I help singles create amazing love or call in their beloved and also create whatever you want in your life. So today, this is an important one for that last part, whatever you want in your life, but also when it comes to a beloved. Um, so you may hear things like, well, I can't meet someone because, well, you know, I'm too old, or I can't meet someone here because, well, there's not enough people in this town, or I can't meet someone here because, well, I have kids right now and I just have to do that. And there's just so many things that can um, hook us up. And I, and I will tell you that they're usually habits of limitations or they are um, their protections. They're sort of like a trauma response, a protection to not um, put yourself in a vulnerable position where Maybe you'll get rejected or maybe you'll fail or maybe something won't work out. Maybe you'll fuck it up. So what if that's not a thing? What if you can never screw it up? What if you could never get rejected? That's actually the truth. So you are the only one that can reject you. Every time you have something that you know, doesn't work out, realize that's just an interesting point of view. And I know that's um, kind of hard for some people to believe, oh, but Macy, I lost a million dollars in this business deal. Or Macy, yeah, I mean, I dated another narcissist or whatever the thing is. It is an interesting point of view that you are in a problem. So the question that I, or maybe it's not a question. Yes, it is a question I wanted to pose is, are you fighting against yourself? So let's look at what it is you're desiring. Someone came to me today and wanted to work in my business. And, um, you know, part of the job was networking and connecting and um, really just being themselves. And that came into that, like brought up all these stories for this person. Like, well, well, you could do that, but I can't do that. Other people can do it, but I can't do that. And um, just not really any room to look at, okay, well, is that true? Is that a hundred percent true? What are you actually arguing for? In that case, this person was arguing for that smallness, the limitation, the like, I'm not good enough part. And what if that doesn't have to be the case? Because I know because I've been there a lot and I've been one of those people who was like, 
no, really, this is my experience. I never have luck with this. I never works for me. This never happens for me. And look at those words, never, never, never. And when you're affirming that, then that's really basically you against you. So it's you against what it is you're wanting. If you're kind of leaning into something or you have a desire for love, desire to meet someone, and you're constantly going into all of the ways you can't have it as a habit, and then churning in that story, that's the energy you're in. It's like that's the reality you get to stay in. And people will say even that. Well, like this is where it's supposed to be like the convincing moment where it's like, well, you know what my, my reality is, my reality is I don't have enough money. My reality is I, you know, don't attract any good ones and like putting that on there. Well, your reality is your reality based on your assumptions, based on your self-concept based on who you've decided you are and aren't, that your reality is that. That is a choice. And I know you may have mountains of evidence of why that choice seems like a fact, but I promise you that there are no facts like that. The truth of who you are is that you're a creator. You are the source of your reality. So you can say, oh, the reality is, but you're the source of your reality. You're the one who created that. So what else can you choose? And this is when it really does help to kind of be in the future you desire. Like being in the future you desire would sound different. It would sound like, wow, okay, I do attract great men in my life. I do... Um, I do attract amazing business partners. I do, money loves to come to me. And these are, these are affirmations. And I hear some of you out there going, well, if you don't believe the affirmation, it's not going to work. Well, actually over time it does work. I mean, it really is, there is a tipping point. There's a tipping point where if you're in it, enough and you make it a no tolerance zone for going into the I can't, I can't, I can't, nah, 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 nothing, never, all that, that if you actually decided to make that your space where you just don't do that, that's what I tell myself. I say, okay, well, I'm not going to do overwhelm today. I may have 35 things on my list to do today. And I could look at that and go like, oh my God, I'm getting so stressed out. And that's what I've done most of my life. And now I'm playing with this because it's so different when you say, you know what? I'm going to do this from ease. I'm going to do this in a different way. I'm going to choose something different. I'm not going to do overwhelm. I'm not going to do stress on this. I'm going to try on something else. And for me, when I name it like that and I say, oh, wow, I'm doing confusion. I'm doing overwhelm. I'm doing fear. I'm doing recreational fear. I'm doing recreational stress. I'm doing recreational worry. I like adding recreational because it is a kind of amusing sometimes when we start realizing how we just kind of default to a stress mode or like, oh, well, it's going to be so crowded there. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you don't even know that. Like, what else could you create for yourself energetically that would actually change it? So um, for some people, that's going to be a big woo-woo stretch. It's going to be like woo-woo, woo-woo, woo-woo. But, you know, we're planting the seed. So I my my intention with all of these videos is that you come back, you listen to it again, you get something else. You come back, you listen to it again, you get something else. And it's just constantly nurturing you and expanding your consciousness, your awareness, your presence with yourself, your, you know, knowing how you typically function and looking at how 
the future you would fun function and be that. Start turning the wheel of the Titanic of your life. And that's really true, isn't it? It's like in a big giant boat, it takes a minute for the boat to actually turn. You can be turning the wheel, but it's still going to be going in the same direction until it just, <gasps> so you've got to be able to persist and persist and persist to have those changes. So what can you fight for? I don't even like the word fight, but in this case, I kind of do because if you say, what can you fight for, then it then it kind of implies that, yeah, there's going to be a little grit here. I'm going to have to probably, um, you know, go against the default systems in my mind of the inner critics of the, you, I can't, I can't, I can't, this never, and then go to, wait. I, I'm the kind of person that does have ease with a big list. I'm the kind of person who attracts amazing men. I'm the kind of person that attracts amazing women. I'm the kind of person that people love to give me money. I'm the kind of per person that people just flock to my YouTube channel. I have so many subscribers that it just keeps growing and growing and growing. I'm the kind of person that when I walk into a room, everybody notices me, like my radiance lights up the space. So you can play with it in so many different ways. So, hey, look at me trying to make a short video I'm still not making. Um, anyway, I hope that was helpful. So grateful to have you here. I love sharing these tips with you. And if you liked this, Will you like the video? Will you subscribe? Will you share it with a friend who could use a little boost and invite them into Love Vibe TV so that we can continue to grow and other people can find this and we can have more people creating amazing things in the world and more love on the planet. So like I say, hallelunicorn. Unicorn love is here. You're fabulous. You're amazing, and we'll see you super duper soon. Bye.